All right. Good morning, everyone. Let's go ahead and start our class. Before we go ahead and start our class, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm CRMS Sony, and I'll be taking care of the indirect tax portions for you guys. That is your CA intermediate taxation. CA intermediate taxation, may we have DT and IDT, right? You guys are already done with your DT part? Yes. Very good. If you are not done also, people who are watching might be who are taking who have taken recorded classes. If you are not done with the DT also, that's also it. then also it's okay. But I'll be taking care of the indirect tax portions for you guys. Can you tell me everyone? Now with this uh, small thing, let's go ahead and start. So can you tell me when we talk about taxation, what are the two portions we have? Direct tax and indirect tax. Direct tax is 50 mark. Indirect tax is right. Direct tax you guys are already done. Indirect tax will be going ahead and doing now. Indirect tax. 50 marks ke liye. actually indirect tax has GST and customs but your, for your CA intermediate we have only GST which is there customs is not a part of your CA intermediate customs will be learning in CA final indirect tax basically there is GST also and there is custom but custom will come in CA final we will be learning only GST and GST also will be learning very limited very limited means how much is required or for 50 marks how much they want to ask will be learning only that much but because if i go ahead and talk about ca final we have approximately 40 chapters in indirect tax you guys have approximately 16 chapters so it is only 40 percent or 30 percent of the syllabus which we learn in ca intermediate for indirect tax okay everyone now when we go ahead and cover this 50 marks what are the various books which we'll be using number one is the gst total book this is the GST total book which is there. Sir, why do you call it GST total book? Total means it's a complete book wherein uh, we need the law. The law is also there. Baba, GST is a law, right everyone? Like how direct tax is a law, GST is also a law. So we have the law also in this book. Secondly, we have the Q&A. Question answers which are there. Your ICI ka study material ka question answers. Your past exam ka question answers your rt page revision test paper which are released by ici those questions are we clear everyone all the question i have gone ahead and compiled together and given it to you so after every chapter ka law gets over we'll see the question answers of that chapter and also we'll be going ahead and seeing the mcqs of that chapter will also be covered so for an example if i go ahead and tell you gst introduction first the chapter is there then we have the question answers and then we have the mcqs of that chapter like that all the chapters ka, approximately we have 16 chapters which are there not approximately we have 16 chapters which will be studying and all the 16 chapter will be studying in the same uh, manner it is given along with that the big big questions which come in the exam i've gone ahead and given it separately along with that also the case study based mcqs which come in the exam 23 case study based mcqs are there those also i'll be going ahead and covering at the last are we clear everyone because to go ahead and do this question this and to go ahead and cover this, you'll need the knowledge of all the chapters. So those two chapters are kept at the last. So this is the GST total book, which we'll be using. This has the law, Q&A and the MCQs. Now we also have one chart book, which is there. This is the CA uh, intermediate ka chart book. Approximately how many pages everyone? 39, including the index, 40 pages are there. 39 pages covers 90 to 95 percent of your indirect tax levels basically at intermediate level whatever they can ask you in the exam everything is covered in the chart book so what i have done is the main book which is there the main book which is there which is approximately 500 pages uh, that i have gone ahead and compressed it and compressed and made a chart book out of it this chart book when you have gone ahead and studied properly you will be able to see that you are able to do question answers also and you are able to do mcqs also don't worry about it now one thing which why I went ahead and made the chart book? Why did we go ahead and summarize something? People, why do you summarize something? So that last day, one day before the exam, revision becomes easy. Now, one day before the exam, what happens? No student sees 500 pages cut uh, in direct tax cut textbook. I don't know direct tax is how much. Might be it is also 300, 400, 500 pages. So you see 1000 pages cut book, which is there. You say, sir, 1000 pages in one day, how to study and go. Yes or no, everyone? So what I, as a student, used to do, as a student, I used to summarize everything, take okay, summarize everything, paste it in the wall. 
एज ए स्टूडेंट आई यूज टू डू दैट आई वॉज ए स्टूडेंट एट द सेम इंस्टीट्यूट हियर ठीक है बिफोर आई वॉज सिटिंग देयर नाउ आई एम सिटिंग हियर टेकिंग क्लास फॉर यू गाइज ठीक है तो when i was a student over here what i used to do i used to summarize everything paste it in the wall and whenever i used to sit and uh, do something might be i'll see the wall ha ah, revision done so that led to the concept of slowly developing a summary book and slowly it has come out as a chart book so that 40 pages one day before the exam or on the day of the exam also you can revise and are we clear everyone now what happens in the chart book is for an example we have chapter number 1 chapter number 1 is one page only This is your chapter number one. Okay, everyone. Now, in the main textbook, you might have it for ten, fifteen pages, which are there. Okay, but what I have done is, out of the ten, fifteen pages, I have summarized and written it over here. So, what we'll be doing it, everyone, listen to me very carefully. In the class pro, in the classroom, first we'll be going ahead and learning everything step by step. Basically, what will happen is, with the chart book, your mind mapping will happen. That this has to be studied, this has to be studied, this flow have we have to go and study, and then at the last. you will see that completely you are able to revise the whole chapter in might be 10 15 minutes are we clear everyone so what we will be doing is we will be going in the flow of the chart book and learning everything one by one one by one one by one now after i am gone gone means gone taking the classes baba not after i am gone there people are imagining no after i am gone taking the classes if you want to revise something or if you want to remember what sir had told in the class what you can do is you can go to a textbook start studying your textbook you will see exactly what i am telling is written in the textbook also are we clear everyone so after we are done with the chapter from the chart book properly we will go ahead and start see we don't study from the chart book or we don't study from the textbook i don't need any book to teach you guys we can go ahead and learn it but if i come to the class just imagine you don't have any book only and i am talking 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 you will not have any path Are we clear? So what I will do is I'll be teaching you one concept and I'll show you that that concept is over here. Then I'll teach you the next concept. The next concept is over here. So in your mind you will have okay these are the things we have to study and go. Now in detail if you want to go ahead and study later again where will you go everyone? In the textbook. In the textbook exactly what I'm talking is also written in the textbook as well. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? Chalo. So here. So chart book also will be going ahead and using. And the last thing is classroom notes. Classroom note means what I am going ahead and writing over here. So what I am writing now, or might be when I am explaining, I am writing something. There are students who are interested, or might be students should be interested in taking down those those notes in their notebook. But we will not go ahead and waste time in writing those notes in the notebook immediately. Whatever I am writing in the class, whatever I am writing in the class. i'll be going ahead and sharing it with the institute the institute will share it with you in your respective telegram groups so after a chapter gets over don't ask before a chapter gets over after we complete with one chapter i'll send this to the institute that basically our institute where you guys are sitting yes everyone uh, you are thinking ca institute ca institute will give no no our institute i'll go ahead and give it to you people who have taken the classes uh, the institute will share the soft copy with you guys are we clear in your telegram group what everyone the classroom notes the notes which i am running writing in the classroom now all the students just a minute everyone now all the students who have gone ahead and taken the classes from rameshwani.com now for or rameshwani classes for you guys uh, this classroom running notes which are there i'll go ahead and upload in rameshwani.com under you will see on the top tabs are there okay you will have to see free resources ka one tab is there free resources in that free resources you will have to go to ca intermediate number 24 folder there you will see classroom running notes classroom running notes and you will be able to download all the chapter wise notes from there once we go ahead and finish the chapter okay everyone for you guys in the telegram group it will be shared for the people who have taken the classes from ramishwani.com this is the procedure you can go ahead and download the notes after every chapter gets over are we all clear till here everyone so you have the text textbook you have the chart book and you have the classroom running notes now one more thing with students have a query about it sir how will we go ahead and ask the queries people sitting over here you how will you ask the queries after the class gets over or during the class also if you by chance have a query you raise your hand and sit down aram se go oh, don't get up raise your hand come down sit once i finish the topic i'll come back to you saying what is your doubt 
mostly when the topic gets over you will see there is no doubt but still you have small doubts etc big doubts small doubt you guys can lift your hand sit down and i'll get back to you and ask your query okay everyone but when i am going ahead and explaining you don't start ala, 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 sa, da, 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 da. no 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 you sit around say once i am done with the topic then i'll go ahead and tell you about your query also okay everyone people who are watching live at home baba after the class gets over you guys can type your query and i'll take your query during the class it will not be possible to entertain queries over here also queries over there also so once the class gets over aram se will you keep writing your queries once the class gets over we'll discuss now people who are taking recorded classes baba recorded classes uh, you guys can ask in your respective telegram groups you guys might have telegram group you guys can ask there now all the students who have taken the classes from rameshsoni.com you guys can go ahead and send me a whatsapp or telegram on 7259276368 this is my number 7259276368 whatsapp or telegram you guys can send me a message and i'll help you with your queries people sitting over here don't note down the number for you guys i'm there in the class only no 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 sir it is good to ask at home aram say whatsapp theek hai everyone okay you guys can also send me a whatsapp but better is always when i'm here you cl clarify your query over here only right everyone are we all clear with this chalo enough done everyone what do we have in taxation direct tax and indirect tax direct tax already done indirect tax will be doing now theek hai everyone i've told you about the books i've told you about the notes i've told you about the queries are we all 100% clear chalo let's go ahead and get it started with chapter number 1 but before i start with chapter number 1 i want to ask you when you have come for a gst class right everyone have you seen gst anywhere in the road walking so where did you see gst restaurant mein sitting and eating food then pills bill oh okay bill bill which bill have you seen louder everyone we all have to participate see baba gst is very very easy gst mein nothing is there provided you guys participate in day to day life everywhere you are paying gst correct or not everyone so if you guys participate in the class trust me you will see that gst is very very easy there is nothing in gst actually to learn it's a practical thing which happens every day with you guys where did you see everyone restaurant ka bill you went to the restaurant had food correct everyone he gave you a bill he charged gst okay where else did you see i want everyone to participate people sitting at home you also think institute gave you the bill institute gave you the bill in that bill they charged you gst okay where else i don't like students who talk to each other you have to talk to me or you don't have to talk it see i'll give you time to talk in between but now you have to talk when we are talking we are talking to each other okay everyone theek okay. now ha huh, next restaurant bill institute ka bill when they gave you the class they charged you gst okay purchased what products whenever you purchase anything from the market they charge you gst so we are going to learn from a seller's point of view people we are going to learn from whose point of view seller's point of view that if i am a seller and i am going ahead and selling you the goods when will i charge gst theek hai to tell me one thing if i talk about gst everyone simple term goods and services pay tax goods and services pay tax is known as goods and service tax which is being charged yes or no everyone okay tell me one thing this is one restaurant theek hai everyone this is one restaurant this is the restaurant ka owner theek hai for an example madam your name divya this is divya over here okay everyone i love drawing so i will draw okay sir what is divya doing er divya is sitting in the restaurant theek hai everyone this is divya divya is sitting in the restaurant ha ah. and this is baba one masala dosa this is chutney and this is sambar okay theek hai no masala baba this is plain dosa ha ah. now what happened listen the shopkeeper went and told divya divya madam i will give you the bill you have to make the payment of 20 rupees for the masala dosa 5 rupees for the gst see he charged him how much 5 rupees for an example i am telling 5 rupees for the gst now can you tell me how much the shopkeeper will keep in his pocket 20, 20. and remaining 5 rupees what will the shopkeeper do 
फाइव रुपीज टू द गवर्नमेंट वाई फाइव रुपीज वॉज गिवेन टू द गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज जीएसटी वाई डू वी कॉल जीएसटी एज इन डायरेक्ट टैक्स बिकॉज इट वॉज लेविड ऑन होम इट वॉज इम्पोज ऑन होम शॉपकीपर बट ही इनडायरेक्टली कलेक्टेड इट फ्रॉम यू एंड गेव इट टू द गवर्नमेंट पीपल डायरेक्ट टैक्स वॉट है आई टेल यू दिस शॉपकीपर अर्न ट्वेंटी रुपीज बाई सेलिंग ए मसाला जो सा ट्वेंटी रुपीज माइट बी हिज एक्सपेंस वॉज ओनली टेन रुपीज हाउ मच प्रॉफिट ही मेड दिस इज प्रॉफिट एंड गेन्स फ्रॉम बिजनेस यस नो एवरी वन यू गाइज आर फ्रेश नाउ पी जी बी एस सी ए फाइनल आई टीच पी जी बी एस ठीक है नाउ इट इज वॉट पी जी हा ओके बाबा ओके आई डोंट नो डी टी दिस इज फाइव रुपीज ओके हाउ मच इज द प्रॉफिट टेन रुपीज दिस टेन रुपीज पे वन टैक्स इज पेबल राइट प्रॉफिट एंड गेन्स फ्रॉम बिजनेस एंड प्रोफेशन दिस इज नाउ दिस टेन रुपीज पे सपोजिंगली टू रुपीज का टैक्स इज पेबल दिस टैक्स इज डी टी और इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स वाई डायरेक्ट टैक्स imposed on him imposed on him paid out of his own pocket what indirect tax imposed on me i collected it from you so basically you are paying to the government through me so it is direct or indirect, indirect. indirect. when i directly pay direct. direct on my salary i am paying direct. direct louder everyone direct okay everyone neighbors should get up that is good morning okay everyone next no for them not good morning if they hear you and get up correct or not everyone so much of words okay as you are clear with this point everyone you understood what is direct and indirect very good now you tell me one thing we will talk only indirect tax i don't know pgbp so i will teach you only indirect tax <laughs> now if i go ahead and tell you that shopkeeper who is there he is going ahead and selling masala dosa masala dosa is what everyone goods now in gst we use one term instead of telling masala dosa being sold by that person goods are being supplied what word we use everyone goods and service goods whenever it is supplied what will happen everyone gst will be imposed imposed ka word good word is what everyone levy now that shopkeeper is he selling goods for an example one shopkeeper is there who is selling this water bottle this water bottle is what everyone goods goods are being sold then he will go ahead and charge what everyone yes. gst once gst is being charged charge means yes. imposed government has imposed gst on it that as soon as goods are being sold i will impose what everyone yes. gst now what should the shopkeeper do shopkeeper should collect from you and pay to the yes or no everyone shopkeeper will collect from you and pay to the so it has to be collected and paid by whom by a registered person only no tell me one thing for an example one boy is there on the road side he is selling socks baba signal pe he is selling socks socks are goods is he selling it gst got imposed on the socks gst got imposed that you should collect and pay but will the will the small boy who is selling socks on the road road side will collect gst and pay why because he is not a registered person under gst are we clear everyone so baba what is gst gst is nothing first of all what there has to be something which is goods or it has to be something which is services we are teaching you guys so we are giving services services are being provided by us provided word is also included in what everyone supply then what will happen gst will get imposed gst will get imposed on the goods or it will get imposed on the service are we clear as soon as goods or service is being supplied by a person gst gets imposed now that person should collect and pay gst to the government only if he is a if not registered sir when will a person take registration when his turnover is little more might be it is crossing 20 lakh there is a limit we'll talk about it are we clear everyone that's all we are going to learn in gst everyone we are going to learn in this flow only see first of all we we'll learn that what is goods and service because only if something is goods or service then gst will come so only when then somebody is going ahead and supply gst will get levied once gst gets levied you have to take registration if your turnover is more than and you will collect and pay sir who is here here government is there our partner what is government telling ramesh you sell goods you collect gst and give it to me 
आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन इज माई पॉइंट क्लियर टू ऑल चलो नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नॉट गोइड एंड टॉक अबाउट एवरी थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू गोइड एंड स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट बेसिक चैप्टर विच इज देयर दिस बेसिक चैप्टर सर वाई डू वी नीड टू लर्न दिस बेसिक चैप्टर सो दैट फ्यूचर इज इजी मीन्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑनवर्ड्स विल बिकम वेरी वेरी इजी इफ यू हैव गॉन एंड लर्न दिस फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओके एवरी वन चलो जी एस टी इन इंडिया एंड इंट्रोडक्शन द चैप्टर का नेम है जी एस टी इन इंडिया एंड नेक्स्ट हियर बाबा यू नो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया आर एवरी वन आराम से रिलैक्स एंड सिख बाबा आराम से रिलैक्स आराम से सेट यू डोंट हैव टू सी हियर एंड देयर ठीक है एवरीथिंग व्हाट इज देयर इन माय चैट बुक इट इज एग्जैक्टली देयर इन योर चैट बुक आल्सो ठीक है कॉपी प्रॉमिस ठीक है सो यू डोंट हैव टू सी हियर एंड देयर आराम से रिलैक्स आराम से सेट कीप लिसनिंग डोंट टॉक एवरी वन ओवर हियर नाउ सी द फर्स्ट यू नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव आर्टिकल्स वी हैव आर्टिकल्स आर्टिकल्स आर लाइक small small chapters you take it small small chapters kind of thing every article is a small chapter small chapter small chapter like that in that constitution of india one article is there article number 3 66 in that one small big chapter mein one small paragraph is there that paragraph ka name is what clause 12a are we clear you don't have to remember but in the constitution of india one article 366 is there in that article one clause is there clause 12a actually article 366 goes ahead and gives you the definitions in that the gst ka definition has been is there what is the gst ka definition it says gst means what do you mean by gst gst means any tax whenever goods or service or both both means what i am giving you i am giving you in the class goods also are books are goods plus i am giving you service also so it's a combination of goods and service. so whenever goods services or both is being supplied whenever i supply goods or i supply service one tax will be levied and that tax is known as what everyone gst yes everyone are we all clear with this point so whenever goods or service will be supplied tax will be levied which is known as what everyone gst that is the meaning of gst so gst means what any tax on supplying what good services or both except alcoholic liquor for human consumption sir you started with alcoholic liquor only yes baba the first definition says that alcoholic liquor for human consumption baba alcohol for human consumption they are telling on that there will be no except alcoholic liquor for human it means alcoholic liquor for human consumption baba bottle yes or no the, not empty bottle we are talking about alcohol they are taking all alcohol there will be no gst now why sir actually what happened see ha huh? louder okay everyone over here now listen you know when gst came in one side central government stood one side who stood everyone yeah. hey well okay one side state government stood theek okay? hai central government told i will give up some of my taxes state government told i will also give up some my, my taxes for an example central government told okay we will give up our service tax state government told okay we will give up our vat are we guys able to understand like that both the government gave up their taxes and what came out out of the fire this is swaha in the fire okay everyone now this is the fire in the fire what happened all of them put their taxes central government put some taxes state government put some taxes and what came out everyone gst uh, okay everyone now central government no it held its tax on alcoholic liquor it told no 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 i will put everything in the fire but i will not put tax on the alcoholic liquor actually alcohol no whenever it is manufactured state government only takes the tax whenever it is sold state government only keeps the tax so state government went ahead and told see baba singh i will give up everything but i will not give up my tax on alcohol now sir why happy or sad person will drink recession or depression person will drink no money no honey still person will drink are yes or no everyone correct now state government told see 
anything happens but alcohol will always run i will always keep getting my continuous revenue and hence they did not go ahead and give up their alcoholic liquor now central government what if tomorrow says no i will charge gst on alcoholic liquor correct or not everyone so what state government told is in the mother act constitution of india is what everyone the main act mother act in the mother act only you take mother promise and right that any tax on supply of goods services or both is gst but you will not charge on what everyone <laughs> alcoholic liquor for human consumption and hence it was written in the constitution ka article only saying that sir we will charge gst is a tax on any goods services or both but not what everyone alcoholic liquor for human consumption al for hc means alcoholic liquor for human consumption i'll ask you one question so for an example alcohol will be used in factories also for paint factories etc will gst come on that yes but human consumption no who will keep the tax on alcoholic liquor state, state government charges taxes those state government will still charge are we all clear till here everyone can we go ahead next now what do you mean by tax everyone you guys already know the meaning of tax you have learned already right everyone what is tax tax means compulsory payment is it a voluntary payment are tax ka meaning i have given down tax is a compulsory payment or a voluntary payment okay which is made under an are yes or no gst is paid under gst act income tax is paid under income tax act service tax was paid under service tax act can i go ahead everyone next gst means a compulsory payment which you do to whom you do to the government only so that government can provide you the various so what do you mean by tax everyone tax means a compulsory yeah. is it voluntary i don't want to pay no you have to pay it is made under an act it is made to the government so that government can provide you what services what services like road infrastructure education hospital health care defense all this is provided by the government how by the money which is collected from the public are we clear everyone can we go ahead chalo let's go ahead everyone over here now direct tax and indirect tax ka difference theek hai people who are sitting like this and going slowly down 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 straight hands down everyone and straight theek hai madam concentrate are you only no you only correct first bench second bench you only madam ha ah, concentrate she's trying very hard oh, i am very sleepy sir on the board everyone over here now now people can we go ahead yes, next direct tax direct tax is imposed on whom and burden will also be borne by burden is also borne by the person on whom it is imposed indirect tax is imposed on me or goods and service which i sell so i go ahead and pass on the burden to the consumer or on the ibr burden is shifted to the ultimate direct tax is income tax indirect tax is gst and <laughs> custom duty will learn in ca final we'll be learning now what everyone gst direct tax is progressive in nature what is progressive can you tell me the slab rate everyone louder 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh how much percent 5 percent 5 lakh to how much percent 10 lakh 20 percent 10 lakh to above 30 percent now what they are trying to tell in direct tax is that sir if you are earning from 2.5 to 5 lakh up lower than 2.5 no tax 2.5 to 5 lakh 5 percent 5 lakh to 10 lakh 20 percent more than 10 lakh 30 percent it means progressing you are progressing tax is also progressing you are not earning anything no tax little earning little tax little more earning more tax more earning more tax then surcharge will also come yes everyone so what they are telling is direct tax is progressive you progress tax also progresses indirect tax is regressive tell me one thing you went to eat one masala dosa the shopkeeper charged you 20 rupees plus 2 rupees tax pm modi went to eat one masala dosa the shopkeeper will charge 20 rupees plus 2 rupees only yes or no everyone is it same for all income level yes. i went to buy a mobile phone the shopkeeper charged me 10000 plus 2000 gst 
ठीक है वन वेरी वेरी पुअर पर्सन वेंट टू बाई वन मोबाइल फोन दैट ऑल्सो विल द शॉपकीपर विल चेंज टेन थाउजेंड प्लस इट इज रिग्रेसिव इन नेचर रिग्रेसिव मीन्स सेम फॉर ऑल इनकम लेवल आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन नाउ इफ इन द एग्जाम दे आस्क यू द डिफरेंस देन आई रिटर्न द डिफरेंस If they ask you what are the features of indirect tax, can you tell me features of indirect tax? Sure. Indirect tax is imposed on goods and services. Indirect taxes burden can be shifted to the ultimate consumer. Indirect taxes GST and custom. Indirect taxes regressive in nature. Are we all clear? Now whatever I am explaining you, same thing is written in the textbook as well, so that whenever you want to read in future, you guys can arrive to it. If we go ahead, everyone next. Now, whenever a new tax system comes, for an example, GST came. It means there was some problem in the earlier tax system because of which GST came in. Do you guys agree with me? Arey, unless you have a problem with your current phone, you generally don't change your phone. Yes, everyone. If you have a problem, only then you will change. Yes or no, everyone. So, what was the problem in the earlier tax system because of which GST came in? Deficiencies in the existing. Why do you call it existing? Because 2017 when GST came, that time these were existing. So what was the problem? Number one, cascading effect. I'll teach you from the textbook. You don't have to run here and there. You just keep listening, everyone. Everything is there in your textbook. Aram se keep listening. Everyone here. Now. What do you mean by cascading effect? Tell me one thing. One manufacturer is there. Manufacturer will do what everyone manufacturing. He will sell the goods to the wholesaler. Wholesaler will sell it to the and retailer will sell it to the consumer now what was the problem which was happening in the earlier tax system for an example one manufacturer manufactured the goods whatever cost plus profit he is selling at how much everyone now manufacturers earlier used to be registered under excise excise act mein they used to say whenever you manufacture anything you will have to pay excise duty Okay, everyone. Earlier, what used to happen? Whenever you used to manufacture anything, you have to pay what everyone? Yes. Now, tell me one thing. Excise duty is ten percent. Ten percent means how much? Yes. So, how much is the tax in this hundred and ten? Ten rupees is the tax which the manufacturer has collected. Are we clear, everyone? Now, the manufacturer just because he manufactured, he pays excise duty. When he is going in and selling, when he is selling. Earlier they used to say you have to pay VAT, everyone. VAT, value added tax. So 110 pay. What is the VAT? 10 percent, 11 rupees. And the, what is the selling price? Is ultimately invoice value is how much? 120. Can you tell me one thing? In this 110, 10 rupees was the tax. On that tax, did you charge another tax VAT? Yes. Are yes or no? In this 110, 10 rupees was excise ka tax. On that, did you charge VAT, which is another tax? Yes. Is it tax on tax? Yes. Don't you think because you charge tax pay tax, the price of the things are going up? Yes, yes or no, everyone? Yes. Tell me one thing. In a country, the government job is to charge tax pay tax, or it is just to charge tax on the goods and services which are there. <laughs> Don't you think this was a problem in the earlier tax system that one tax pay another tax was being charged? And that is known as cascading effect. What is cascading effect, everyone? Tax. tax on tax. And whenever tax on tax is there, it is not good for the economy because the economy may the prices of the commodities will go up. Are we clear, everyone? Why is the commodity ka prices going up? Because tax on tax is there. Are we all clear till here? Next. Now tell me one thing. In this example, the goods are sold to whom? Wholesaler, you know this is also known as sen vat, central value added tax, because excise duty was being charged by central government. The one more name was what everyone? Sen vat. Okay, everyone. Now listen. Now when the goods are sold to the wholesaler, wholesaler is registered under what vat? Because he is not into manufacture. Do you guys agree with me? Yes. Now when he bought the goods, he will go ahead and sell it further to retailer. Can you tell me what is the cost of the wholesaler? See, hundred rupees. Me he bought the goods. Ten rupees he paid excise duty. Ten eleven rupees he paid excise duty. He paid how much? VAT he paid how much? So that is not to be paid by him. No. Ultimately, it has to be paid by whom? 
consumer. Do you guys agree with me? But so, can you tell me what should be the cost for him? Excise duty 10 rupees and VAT 11 rupees. They will take the credit. What do you mean by taking the credit, everyone? Government will give you the credit saying, okay, these are the tax not being paid. No, it should not have been paid by you, but you have paid it. People, this tax should not have been paid by you, but you have paid it. No problem. Recover it from the customer. Then you set it off. Saying I had paid from my pocket. You deduct it. And whatever you have collected from the customer, if anything remains, you pay to the government. Did you guys agree with me? So, can you tell me what is the wholesaler ka excise duty paid? What is the VAT paid? 11. But you know what used to happen? Wholesalers are registered only under VAT, right? So, they will get VAT ka credit. Excise duty ka credit, they never used to get. Why? You are not registered only. So, government used to say excise duty ka no credit. Whenever I don't get credit, can you tell me what will be my cost? 100. Tell me one thing. What is the actual amount of spending? 100. If I would have got 10 and 11 ka credit, what would have been my cost? Sure, everyone. People, I am not repeating. But if anyone doesn't get it, lift your hand and sit. I will repeat it. Got it? Ha. Tell me one thing. What is my cost? 100. But here 110. Why? Because excise duty, I did not get the Whenever you don't get the credit, you will ultimately recover it from whom? Customer. So, your cost will go. Cost will increase. Now, tell me one thing. Wholesaler also makes a profit. He made 11 rupees ka profit. What is the selling price? Does 121 already include some amount of tax? Yes. What? In this 110, 10 rupees ka excise duty is already there. Now, on this, you will charge what? So, again, tax on. Do you guys agree with me? Sure, everyone. Tell me one thing. What did I tell you till now? I'll repeat once again. He sold the goods. Manufacturer sold the goods. Manufacturer sold, charged excise duty of? VAT of 11. Why 11? Tax on tax. Ill effect. No, this should not happen. Tax on tax is not good. Are we clear? Now, this wholesaler bought it. Excise duty, how much he paid? VAT, how much he paid? So, he should have got a credit of 10 N. But because he is registered only, because he is buying and selling, he is not registered under excise, he will not get any credit. Credit means, government says, people listen to me very carefully, government says, whatever indirect tax form one principle is there. When you are selling to customer, you recover it. Whatever you have paid on your purchase, no GST, etc., VAT, etc., you can deduct it. Are we clear everyone? That is known as what everyone? Credit. We will talk more about credit in little future. Okay everyone, don't worry. Now you might know 90% about credit. You will learn it slowly. Are we all clear till here? Now, so what used to happen? VAT is 11 rupees. But did he get the VAT ka credit? Yes. But he got the excise duty credit. So what is his cost? Why 110? Excise duty is included. Are we clear? He made a profit of 10% which is 11 rupees. What is the total selling price? On that, wholesaler when he is selling, he will charge VAT? How much VAT? Don't you think again tax, this included 10 rupees excise duty. On that again you charge some tax. So what they are telling is, no send VAT credit to dealer or trader. People, whenever a dealer or trader used to buy something, send VAT ka credit they never used to get. When they don't get the credit, it will become a part of the cost. Cost ka part, then cost may, if tax is included, tax pay, again tax will be charged. That was charged on the excise duty. So, again tax on tax. Are we 100% clear? Can I go ahead, everyone? Everyone is clear? Next. How can people who just came be clear? People who are coming so late, kindly start coming on time. Class is at 7, not at 8 o'clock. Right, everyone? Chalo, let's go ahead. Everyone over here now. The next one is, there was no integration, double taxation due to non-integration of VAT and service tax. What do you mean by non-integration of VAT and service tax? I'll tell you. Earlier, what used to happen, no? If I am a service provider, I am a teacher, I am providing what, everyone? So, when I will go ahead and sell something, I will give services. For an example, 100, 100 rupees ka service, Service tax used to be 15 rupees. So, I charge you service tax how much? 15. When I used to buy something, no? Buying for an example, I bought one pen or I bought an iPad. 
iPad I bought for 10,000 rupees. I paid what on buying an iPad? Are buying pay you paid what? VAT. Suppose in 2000 rupees ka VAT I paid. Will I get a credit or VAT? VAT credit is how much? But you know what? Service providers never used to get VAT ka credit because you are registered under service tax. So service tax and VAT may no integration was there. Are we clear everyone? Now I have 15 rupees which is there payable. Can I use my 2000 rupees ka credit to pay? No. Tell me one thing. This 2000 rupees will become part of my what? Do you guys agree with me? Are I am a service provider registered under service tax. When you are registered under service tax, you will never get VAT ka credit. Earlier I am telling you. When you don't get VAT ka credit, any credit not given will become part of the cost. Now tell me one thing. If my iPad ka cost is more, my teaching ka cost will be more? Yes. It means my teaching ka cost may some VAT component will also be included. So don't you think double taxation was happening? Because when I am providing you service, I will recover service tax also from you. Plus, my cost will have some VAT also. Do you guys agree with me? Shall I repeat? Got it everyone? Chalo. So, VAT or service tax, double taxation was happening. Earlier, there were several taxes which were not subsumed in VAT. Earlier, VAT came, no? But still, there were many other taxation like luxury tax. Hotels used to charge what? Luxury tax. Movies, uh, etc. pay, entertainment tax was there. Are you guys able to understand? So, what government told is, hey, all this you forget it. Cash tax on tax, hey, remove it. Send back credit. He is selling. Trader is not getting credit. What nonsense. Everyone should get credit. Next, double taxation was happening. Baba, government should charge tax only once. Why on one thing double, double time taxation is happening? Are we clear? Several taxes were not subsumed. Means, there were a lot of taxes which were there. Luxury tax, entertainment tax, VAT, service tax, excise duty. Why so many indirect taxes? And hence, government came up with the concept. Government told, delete this. Oh, no, no, don't delete. Government told, forget all these problems. We will come up with everyone what? GST. Are we all clear till here? Tell me one thing. What are the things we have done with till now? People over here, everyone. Tell me, what are the things we have done till now? We learned about Constitution ka article number 366. We told about GST ka definition. GST means any tax on supply of goods, services or both except alcoholic liquor for human consumption. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. Tax means what? Compulsory payment which you do to the government under an act so that government can provide you various public services. Then we learn direct tax, indirect tax ka difference. Direct tax imposed on me. Burden also on me. Indirect tax imposed on me. No, no, no. Goods and service. Burden is shifted to whom? <laughs> direct tax is income tax. Indirect tax is? Yes. GST and custom. Direct tax is? Progressive. Indirect tax is? Regressive. Are we clear? Then we learned about the problem. Earlier what was happening? Tax on? Tax was happening. Send back credit. Excise duty ka credit. I never used to get. If I don't get the credit, what will happen? become part of the cost. Are we clear everyone? If it becomes part of the cost, again tax on, tax will happen. Are we clear everyone? The next one, double taxation was happening because VAT and service tax ka integration was not there. I cannot use my VAT to pay service tax. If I can't use my VAT, it will become part of my cost. When my cost includes tax, again service tax charged on the tax, tax on, tax. And sir, Several taxes like LT. LT means what everyone? You should write everything here only and keep. LT means luxury tax. ET means what everyone? Entertainment tax. You know why I am telling you to write here only and keep? Because one day before the exam, we will see only our chart book. And are we all clear? Can we go ahead everyone? Next. Now, what are the various features of GST? Can you tell me what do you mean by various features of GST? What they are telling? How it works? Okay. Okay. Can you tell me what are my features? I have two eyes. I have one nose. One mouth. Three ears. Yes, no, yes? 
students early morning ah sir yes yes baba i have two years some here yes or no everyone now what i am telling over here is what are the features means like how we have features what are the features of gst yes. number one gst is a tax first of all you should know only this much gst is a tax okay sir gst is a tax it's a tax on what everyone yes. supplying what goods or services do you guys agree with me next it's a consumption tax what do you mean by it's a consumption tax very very important listen to me very carefully i went ahead and i am going to sell this bottle supposingly madam your name ah tanushri i sold the bottle she said like, oh why my name tanushri theek hai i sold the bottle to tanushri now when i am selling the bottle to tanushri who will bear the burden of the tax it means ultimately tax ka burden is shifted to whom the ultimate consumer are we clear everyone how does the burden get shifted can you tell me i'll ask you i'll ask you listen you know what happens when i buy this bottle and i sell this bottle how the tax ka burden get shifted let's see see over here everyone madam good morning now you have to concentrate ha ah, on the board on the board everyone here now people on the board supposingly i bought the bottle baba water bottle okay everyone i bought the water bottle for 100 rupees and i paid gst 10% how much baba in the class whenever i am telling 10% 12% etc that's only for classroom understanding purpose practical life mein the rate of gst might be different okay everyone next 10 rupees can you tell me how much did i pay whenever you buy anything whatever tax you pay government gives you the credit government says ramit i will tell sir i am a supplier why did you charge me the tax i am not a consumer yes or no everyone gst should be borne by whom <laughs> sir why did you charge me tax so god government will tell no ramit whenever you buy anything whatever tax you pay to that person that person will give it to whom <laughs> yes or no are this person sold me the goods For hundred rupees plus, how much tax? I gave him how much? Hundred rupees plus. What will he do with the ten rupees? He'll give to the government. I will cry, government. Why did you charge me ten rupees ka tax? I am not a consumer. I am your partner only, government. I am not the. So government will tell what he paid it to me. I will give you the credit. Next time, Ramesh, when you have to pay me, no. Next time when you have to pay, you deduct and pay. Are we clear? So what government will tell Ramesh? Whatever you buy inputs on that whatever tax you pay GST you pay, I will give you the. So it is known as input tax credit. Inputs pay whatever tax you pay, you will get the credit. So how much credit will I get, everyone? Is my point clear to all? Now I will sell it to the ultimate bakra, the consumer. Correct, everyone. Oh, here Tanush is the bakra. Correct. Ah, ठीक है. everyone over here i sold it to her supposingly people on the board everyone i sold it to her for an example for 200 rupees how much is the gst everyone are what is my cost everyone can you tell me first of all my cost 100 100 are yes 10 rupees so i got the credit no so is it my cost I paid Paytm 110. Paytm gave me 10 rupees credit. How much was the cost of the item? Do you guys agree? Next, profit I made supposingly 50 rupees. How much is my selling price? GST will be how much? 10 percent. How much? Can you tell me how much did I? 165. I sold it to the bakra. Yes or no, everyone? Now tell me one thing. How much is my liability to the government? this is more known as output output means my sales output my output pay what is my tax ka liability otl output tax la output means my sales on that what is my tax ka liability how much is my liability everyone what is my inward pay inward means input pay what is the tax ka credit how much can you tell me how much will i pay to the government this is gst 
people what will i do as a shopkeeper can you tell me who is the ultimate bakra me or her her who is the bakra tanushri only for classroom purpose everyone here now tell me one thing how much is the output output means my sales tax liability i collected how much 15 on my buying how much i paid i have paid 10 i've collected 15 i'll tell ha 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 government now i'll reduce from here this government has to pay me government gave me the credit means government has to pay me this i have to pay to the government what will i do set off this is known as set off and pay the balance how much will i pay to the government can you tell me ultimately who paid the tax did i pay any tax who paid that is why it is a consumption tax who pays the tax ultimately are we all clear with this point people smile did we all get it can i go ahead people not smiling wait let me see can we go ahead everyone next everyone over here now the next one see i love students who enjoy the class but i don't like students who talk to each other unnecessarily and disturb the class see you are talking to your friend you are disturbing your neighbors also correct madam can we go ahead on the board now everyone over here see sitting over here no we can see everyone what they are doing and at the end of the day you know what i want i want everyone should love the class everyone should love gst baba it's a very very easy subject 50 mark is very very easy to score but it will be very very easy only if you are concentrating in the class if you do any time pass in the class on the first day second day third day after that also <laughs> you will not be able to link it properly can i go ahead everyone sure see i'll give you time after we learn one one and a half hour i'll give you time to talk to each other till then only listen to the class can i go ahead everyone yes, next is this point clear the next is it's a destination based tax what do you mean by destination based tax everyone listen to me very carefully there are two types of taxation one is destination based tax one is origin based tax very very important concept what is a destination based tax and what is a origin based tax for an example this is india and this is usa us may one person made one goods some goods he put it in a ship take everyone and the ship came to india people okay now you tell me one thing these goods are manufactured where everyone usa usa is the origin what is the destination yeah. the goods came from here to yeah. destination is india which government has the right to take the tax origin where the goods made or where the goods are finally destined the wo whole world follows only two principle origin or destination and it's an acceptable principle that always what will be followed destination now you will tell me why will which government will get the tax on these goods indian government or us government yeah. why indian government i'll give you one simple example from india ka explanation for an example right okay tell me one thing there is one region over here and there is one region over here okay in this region there are many type many consumer there are many okay boys girls everyone okay these are all consumer who consume the goods or service in this region only one manufacturer is there who manufactures he manufactures the goods and sends it to this region where people are going and consuming can you tell me if there is one government over here and there is one government over here which government will need more money to manage the state or to manage the region which government will need no more money this one or this one first or second why second the more number of consumer the more is the requirement to manage because here more hospitals will be required more educational institutions will be required more road will be required do you guys agree with me now you tell me one thing for an example this is karnataka and this is west bengal okay everyone karnataka and bds are made in west bengal bd you know bd everyone are bd sir your name bharat bharat only for classroom purpose this is bharat this is bharat ka only for classroom purpose okay everyone bharat is doing what everyone bharat is smoking bd bad manners okay this classroom never encourages all these things okay everyone now you tell me one thing bds are sold by one manufacturer is there 
He manufactured BD where everyone? BDs are sold in Karnataka where Bharat was consuming the BD. We'll get Bharat here. Okay, his legs also. Uh, this is this is Bharat, Bharat and Bharat's BD. Okay, everyone, now listen. Tell me one thing, everyone. Okay, this is not Bharat. This is Sharat. Only for only for classroom purpose. Now you tell me one thing. If one person is smoking BD, tomorrow he falls sick. He will go to West Bengal to a hospital or he will go to Karnataka only to a hospital. Yes or no everyone. So this Sharat has to go to Karnataka only in an hospital. Now you tell me one thing. Which government will need more money? Karnataka government or West Bengal? Karnataka. So Baba, it's an established principle that wherever the consumers are more, that government will need more money. Do you guys agree with me? And hence, they have believed that taxation should always be what everyone? Destination based. Tell me one thing, Karnataka may softwares are made, sold in West Bengal, which government will get the tax? West Bengal. Are we clear? Why? Because the consumers are there. The development of a state will only happen if there are consumers. Now tell me one thing, for an example, Karnataka may only manufacture, will Karnataka government earn anything? For development of a state, the most important is what everyone? Consumers. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. Is this point three points hundred percent clear to all? The last one is it's a value added tax. GST is what everyone? Value huh? added Sir, VAT to delete it. Then what do you mean by GST is a VAT? Or a VAT is actually a method. VAT is not a VAT is not a tax. VAT is actually a process of process. Okay, everyone. Now they named this uh, earlier, they named it as VAT Act. VAT Tax only they value added tax only they named it, but actually VAT is a process. Let's understand VAT as a process. Okay, everyone. Cholo, I'll explain you VAT as a process. One minute. Don't worry about it. I have drawn and got it so that we all can understand in the class. Okay. This will be a part of your notes. Don't worry. Na -na -na. Na -na -na -na. Okay. People listen to me very carefully. I'll tell you. For an example, one manufacturer sold the goods to wholesaler. Wholesaler will sell the goods to the? Yeah. And retailer will sell the goods to the? Yeah. Consumer. Our ultimate. Okay. okay, everyone. Now listen. When manufacturer sells the goods to the wholesaler, for an example, he sold at 500 rupees. We are talking about GST now. Old tax, forget it. We are talking about? GST. He will charge GST. For an example, how much everyone? 10%. He charged how much GST everyone? 10%. 10 Just give me a second. People watching at home, is the audio video clear to all of you? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Done. Think. Huh. People, selling price 500 GST 10%. How much? 500 and? Now, tell me one thing. This wholesaler will do what? First, he will cry. Why he will he cry? Sir, I am not a consumer. What will government tell? I don't worry. He will pay the GST to the government will give it back to you as what? What is it called? Input tax credit. How much is the input tax? Everyone, listen. He is also registered now under GST. You are also registered under? GST. Now tell me one thing. He will sell it to the retailer. Can you tell me his cost? Sure. Why? 50 got the credit. People, everyone understood. Yes. I am not believing. If you have understood or not, everybody got it? Yes. 100%. Yes. Anyone who did not get this method which I am telling, everybody got it. Because this is only GST. If you have learned this, we are done. Again, 15 days we will aram say enjoy. There is nothing. Did you guys get this everyone? Yes. Okay. Cost is how much? 50 so you got the credit so cost is only he made a profit of how much 100. okay profit is 100 600 is a gst is how much on this item i have told gst is so how much is the gst be? can you tell me what will he do okay tell me first stage may how much government got first stage may manufacturer paid 50. He did not have any input tax credit. I have written. Manufacturer did not have any input tax. Now, can you tell me, this is the second stage, right? 
What is the selling price ultimately including GST? <laughs> this is known as invoice value. Okay, everyone. Invoice. The total invoice ka value. Okay, everyone. Now, can you tell me outward? Outward means <laughs> output, tax, liability. How much it is? Input, tax, credit. How much it is? How much will you pay? Second stage may government got how much? Yes. Tell me one thing. Is this boy happy now? Yes. Why? He collected 60. He had paid 50. So he used it. And how much he paid? Yes. This 10 which was there, was it out of his pocket or consumer? Yes. Now, this is not a consumer. Retail, supposedly, this retailer. Now he will start crying. Uh, why everyone? Yes. That, uh, government, I am your partner. I will further sell. Yes or no everyone? Was yes or no, everyone? Yes. Now, GST is nothing other than stage wise collection. First little, then little more, then little more, till the time the sale will keep happening. Government will keep collecting. Yes. Now, you tell me one thing. This, what is his input tax credit? How much tax did he pay? 600 rupees plus. Can you tell me input tax credit? Are we all 100% clear? Okay. Can you tell me his cost? 600. He made a profit of how much? 200. How much is the total? How much is the GST? How much? Invoice value. Can you tell me output tax liability? Louder. Input tax credit. 20. Can you tell me? How much will be the tax paid at the third stage to the government? 20. Government got 20. First government got 50. When the value addition became 600, government got another. Yeah. When the value addition became? Yeah. When the total value became 800, government got another. Yeah. Can you tell me how much government got ultimately? Can you tell me government got 80? Is this guy happy now? Yeah. Why is he happy? Yeah. Collected his amount he deducted. So, whatever I had paid from my own pocket, I took it and kept it. And remaining only I paid to the government. Do you guys agree? Tell me one thing. How much Bakra paid? Do you guys get credit? How much you paid? 800 for the goods? 80 GST. Government got how much? It means, ultimately, who will bear the burden? And all these people are government ka partner, Baba. This shopkeeper who is there? He is collecting from you and whatever he has paid, he will deduct and balance he will pay to the. So, all these are collecting agent. We are all collecting agent. What we are doing? Bakra se collect. Whatever we had paid, deduct and balance paid to the. This is only GST. This is only GST. What we are going to learn from the first day till the last day? What is output? What is input? How much input person will get? How much he has to pay? Is my point clear to all? Tell me one thing. GST is a value added tax, right everyone? Can you tell me manufacturer ka value addition? He did a value addition of. First stage may there was no other thing which he had bought. He only made a new product for which value addition was how much? Value 500. Can you tell me he did a value addition of how much? 100. 100. 500 to already done by the first. 500 per 10 percent government got how much? 50. Over story. 500 say how much value addition this guy did? 100 per 10 percent is how much? Simple no? 10 rupees government got. Can you tell me how much value addition he did? 200 per 10 percent is how much? Government got 20. It means if I tell you I bought some goods 500 may. I sold it also for 500. No value addition. Will government get any tax? I will collect 50, input 50 and I will pay to the government, 0. Only if you do some value, value addition means what? Might be profit, might be I did some further processing and I charge some little more. If you make profit, government will make profit. If you don't make any profit, government also does not make any. Is my point clear to all? Chalo, I will do one thing everyone. I will go ahead and give you one more question. You guys try it and then we'll go ahead.
sir what is this notes baba this is i am drawing and coming so that every day we can go ahead and understand in the class okay everyone so that i can give you examples in the class i've just drawn and come chalo you guys draw put over here chalo can i tell you gst rate 10% okay everyone will you do it or i'll do it okay let's do it everyone i'll give you 3 minutes ka time let's do it people watching at home pick up your pen and do it how much consumer pays how much government is getting at every stage no itc he does not have any input tax credit are you able to see everyone chalo do it do it do it do it let me know once done okay you have to calculate first stage second stage and third stage okay everyone profit 10% profit 20% okay and here the selling price is 1000 people who are in the last bench uh, is it clear now manufacturer sold it to wholesaler wholesaler to retailer retailer to do it do it do it everyone people watching at home i'll pause the video and then we'll start again are we done everyone chalo okay we'll do it can i do it or you guys are done okay tell me one thing goods are sold from year to year 10% 10% means gst 10% 100 invoice value he gave 1000 rupees plus he gave 100 rupees yes or no everyone yes. government got at the first stage how much 100. anyone any doubt with the first stage now tell me one thing wholesaler will take input tax how much credit he will go ahead and now his cost is how much 1000 profit is how much 100 so his selling price is how much sure everyone anyone any doubt with this on this 10% gst he will charge yes or no everyone see i purchase i am a wholesaler i purchase for 1000 i will add my profit and total pay i will charge gst how much gst everyone 110 and invoice value will be okay what is my output tax liability 110 what is my input tax credit how much will i ultimately pay second stage government got how much anyone any doubt with this please tell me anyone any doubt with this sure everyone baba anyone anything can i go ahead next now tell me one thing input tax credit is how much retailer will get credit of how much he sold it to the consumer cost is how much 1000 uh, profit is how much 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ दिस इज टू ट्वेंटी कैन यू टेल मी द टोटल वन थ्री टू जीरो सेलिंग प्राइस इज वन थ्री टू जीरो टू द अल्टीमेट कंज्यूमर जीएसटी इज हाउ मच वन थर्टी टू इन वॉइस वैल्यू वन फोर फाइव टू कंज्यूमर पेड हिम वन थ्री टू जीरो फॉर हिम एंड वन थर्टी टू वट विल ही डू नाउ हिज आउटपुट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इज वन थर्टी विज इनपुट टैक्स क्रेडिट इज वन टेन ही विल पे हाउ मच ट्वेंटी टू कैन यू टेल मी एट द थर्ड स्टेज गवर्नमेंट गॉट हाउ मच हाउ मच गवर्नमेंट गॉट हाउ मच कंज्यूमर पेड आर वी ऑल हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लियर एनी वन एनी डाउट कैन वी गो हेड यस सर हा रिटेलर कॉस्ट इज इलेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज हा सेलिंग प्राइस इज इलेवन ही सोल्ड इट टू मी एट वन थाउजेंड रुपीज प्लस प्रॉफिट ऑफ हंड्रेड फॉर मी हाउ मच इज द कॉस्ट आई सोल्ड यू समथिंग एट थाउजेंड रुपीज प्लस हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रॉफिट वॉट इज योर कॉस्ट क्लियर can we go ahead everyone chalo tell me one thing everyone people are we clear with this can we go ahead madam at the last bench is it clear yes louder government will give us the ha ah. consumer paid you वन थ्री टू जीरो वन थर्टी टू ही पेड यू द जीएसटी अमाउंट हियर इज योर जीएसटी अमाउंट हियर इज योर इनपुट टैक्स रेट एंड रिमेनिंग यू पे टू द गवर्नमेंट एट द थर्ड स्टेज पीपल आर वी हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लियर विथ दिस पॉइंट श्योर कैन आई गो हेड सी वॉट एवर आई कलेक्ट फ्रॉम द कंज्यूमर people over here whatever i collect from the consumer whatever i buy on that whatever i pay i will set off that tax and balance i'll pay to the can i go ahead everyone so government is actually earning from whom can you tell me first stage mein what was the value addition what was the second stage mein value addition profit he added 100 100 ka 10% is how much can you tell me how much profit he added 220, 220 का 10 परसेंट इज हाउ मच 22. टू इज माई पॉइंट क्लियर टू ऑल कैन वी गो हेड पीपल डिड यू गाइज गेट इट और यू वॉन्ट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल वन मोर यू विल डो चलो आई विल गो एड एंड ड्रॉ ओवर हियर पीपल ओवर हियर दिस इज वन मैन्युफैक्चर दिस इज वन होलसेलर दिस इज वन रिटेलर एंड दिस इज वन कंज्यूमर ओके एवरी वन ही सोल्ड गुड्स टू हेम ही सोल्ड गुड्स टू हेम ही सोल्ड गुड्स टू हेम selling price here is 500 rupees gst rate is 10% he makes a profit of 100 he makes a profit of 200 can you do the calculation first stage how much government will get second stage government will get and third stage government will get people try it quickly everyone i'll pause the video people watching at home i'll pause the video we'll start again once you are done are we all done everyone people sitting in the class are we all done chalo tell me one thing people this is the ultimate thing which you have to learn you know this means you are done so if you have any doubt you have to tell me can i go ahead everyone now selling price is 500 can you tell me gst how much 50 can you tell me what will manufacturer say now his input tax rate is zero for an example i am giving zero people over here people over here his input is zero manufacturer ka output tax liability is how much input tax rate is how much so, how much will he pay to the government so can you tell me government got at the first stage how much is 50 rupees inside the pocket of the government everyone pay everyone here 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 is 50 rupees in the government ka pocket but government will tell okay you are a wholesaler i will give you input tax how much 
Did government actually give you cash or government still have 50 rupees in his pocket only? 50 rupees is there in the government ka pocket. Government just gave you the credit telling in my books I am writing 50 rupees I have to give you. So next time when you have to pay something you deduct and pay. Did you guys get my point everyone? Sure? So now tell me. Wholesaler got a 50 rupees credit. He will sell. His cost is how much? 50 he got the credit and remaining is 500. Profit is how much? 100. Can you tell me selling price? Can you tell me GST? Can you tell me invoice value? Can you tell me his calculation now? Output tax liability 60. Input tax credit 50. See, government just told him next time when you have to pay, you deduct. So, output 60 say 50 deducted. Can you tell me how much government will get? So, government second stage may earned. Can you tell me this guy made a value addition actually of how much? He made a profit of 100, 100 per 10 percent is how much? 10 rupees. So, government got 10. Actually, it's a tax on whatever value addition you do. There are two ways of finding it. Value addition pay direct 10 percent. Tax rate directly on the value addition or output minus input tax. That is also value added tax. Is my story 100% clear? Yes. I want everyone to tell a yes, only then I will go ahead. Yes. Last bench, madam, are we all clear now? Yes. Is your doubt clear? Can I go ahead? Yes. Everyone now tell me, retailer, what is his input tax credit? Input tax rate is how much? 60. His cost is how much? 600. Profit is how much? 200. Value addition is how much? 200 actually. 200 per 10 percent is 20. That government should get. You guys agree with me? 800. 800 per GST is? 80 rupees. Output tax liability? Input tax credit? Government got? Over story everyone. Government got? Ultimately customer also paid? Is my point 100% clear to all. Baba, what is VAT? VAT is a process. Whatever you collect on your output, whatever you have paid on your input, you set it off and balance you pay to the government. With me everyone, what is VAT? Output pay you collect tax, input pay whatever you have paid, you set it off and balance you pay to the government. Are we clear everyone? Or if you simply want to do it, value addition pay tax is what everyone? Value added tax. Can I close the story or one more example or got it? Got it. Sure everyone? Yes, everyone got it? Yes, Chalo, let's go ahead everyone. Everyone over here now. Chalo. So now, can you tell me what are the features of GST people? GST is a tax on supply of goods, services or both. Goods or service or both also. Both means a combination. I am giving you what? Service also. Books are goods. Next. GST is a consumption tax. It means who bears the burden of the tax? Consumer. GST is a destination. Where will the tax go? To which state? Where the consumers are, the destination state. And GST is a value added tax. It means whatever output is there, whatever input is there, you will set it off and always pay the balance. It means whatever value addition you do, on that you will pay the tax to the God. Tell me one thing. We as an institute, what do we do? We collect the tax from you on our purchasing of this table, iPad, laptop, books, printing ka cost pay, whatever GST we pay. We do what? Set off and balance we pay to the God. The shopkeeper, what does he do? Think, think, think. You have to think now. Shopkeeper will collect GST from you on dosa. He will buy all this maida, sugar, whatever GST he pays. Set off and pay balance to the See, practically in restaurant, there is no input which is there. All those things we are not talking. I am teaching you from an intermediate level. See, intermediate, small level. Okay, everyone. What does every shopkeeper do? For an example, one tube light ka shopkeeper. He will buy tube light. He will get what? Louder input. When he will sell, he will charge output. He will set off and pay balance to the dot. Supposingly, your papa is into business of selling these bottles. Baba water bottle. Okay. Now, what does your papa do? He will sell bottle, he will collect GST from the customer. When he purchases, he will pay GST. Of that, he will get input. He will set off and every month he will pay the balance to the 
सो अल्टीमेटली इज पापा पेइंग और कंज्यूमर पेइंग आर वी ऑल हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लियर चलो नेक्स्ट वॉट आर द benefits of gst now because gst has come in to the country what are the various benefits which has happened number one is creation of unified national market unified national market means earlier what used to happen no if you are buying from other uh, states and all are we clear uh okay for an example <coughs> unified national market if you go, want to go ahead and understand whenever you are buying from okay uh, if i tell you earlier what used to happen if you are buying from other state you never used to get the credit of that if you are buying from other state he will charge you vat that vat ka credit never used to be given in your state are we clear and because of that what was happening whenever you never you get the credit what will happen it will become part of your cascading effect will happen yes or no everyone now they are telling you buy from anywhere in the country he will charge you gst you will get input you will charge output set it off and pay the balance so can i buy from anywhere in the country now so it's a unified national one nation one market one tax which is what everyone gst yes. next boost to make in india initiative now you tell me one thing if in india only one tax is there would people want to come and manufacture in india yes. saying india my taxation system is very simple only gst is there let's manufacture in india do you guys agree with me yes. so make in india initiative will be boosted or not yes. yes now because make in india initiative boost will come enhanced investment will come from outside india when investments will come new companies will come straight back ha huh. when new companies will come in will new employments come in the country yes or no everyone yes next mitigation of ill effects of cascading cascade effect gone is there any tax on tax now no. when i will buy i'll pay what gst yes. when i will sell i will charge what gst can i use gst to pay gst yes. no tension can i go ahead everyone next ease of doing business earlier if a person is registered under excise and vat for an example manufacturer he has to do compliances under excise also he has to do all compliances under vat also are we clear whatever books of accounts are to be maintained under vat he has to do it whatever books of account excise act told he has to do it now simple under gst only he has to maintain the books of account compliances under gst so it is telling ease of doing business has happened and because of that compliance cost will also come down yes or no everyone now you tell me one thing earlier i had to pay my ca for doing vat ka compliances also excise ka compliances also now i have to pay him only for what gst gst ka compliances so is my compliance cost also coming down because earlier under excise excise related returns vat act mein vat return vat return had to be filed under gst only gst ka return so baba is compliance cost also coming down yes automated process with a greater use of information technology i'll show you over here for an example If you go to the gst. gov. in, which is a website over here, all the processes which are there, no, have been made automated. You want gst registration, you can do it online. Payment you want to do gst ka, you can do it online. Refund you want to ask, you can do it online. So what they are telling, information technology is used and automated processes with the greater use of information technology. All the processes have become what everyone. automated then elimination of multiple taxes and double taxes and baba all multiple taxes gone double taxes and buying pay also gst selling pay also gst can i set it off yes, yes. next benefits to small trader and entrepreneurs now in gst you know if you are a supplier of goods you are given a limit of 40 lakh rupees you don't have to take registration so if i am a small entrepreneur small trader is it beneficial for me or not no tension up to 40 lakh are we clear everyone and hence they are telling because of gst small traders have also been benefited now now when gst came in central government did what everyone some taxes ko central government did swaha um some taxes ko did state government did swaha you remember the fire everyone correct now what are the taxes central government did swaha what are the taxes state government did swaha and what are the taxes state government and central government told no 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 we will not do do swaha we will keep with ourselves only are we clear 
we are going to talk about that number one central taxes which are subsumed means central taxes which are gone number one central excise duty central excise duty whenever any manufacturer used to be done earlier if you are a manufacturer of supposing this glass you have to pay central excise duty to the government now it is gone what will be charged gst service tax earlier whenever a service provider used to provide service for an example when i was studying in this institute they were giving us the bill they used to charge us service tax why because they are giving us a service so service tax now gone cvd and special cvd what is cvd everyone cvd is countervailing duty counter veiling duty countervailing duty and special countervailing duty it is actually charged under customs under customs and customs is a part of ca final so as of now we will not go ahead and discuss countervailing duty you can just remember countervailing duty and special countervailing duty explanation understanding will do in ca final if i now start explaining half an hour will go unnecessarily not required can i go ahead everyone countervailing duty actually it is charged under which act everyone customs act so countervailing duty we are not go they are telling cvd and special cvd also gone central sales tax people if you are buying from another state to your state you have to pay what cst see if you are selling within the state earlier what used to charge vat if you are buying from other state they used to charge cst central sales tax within the state vat outside the state say CST. CST was also a central level tax which is gone now. What is being charged now? GST. GST. Any surcharge and cess which is there is also gone. For an example, service tax may know when Krishi Kalyan cess used to be there. Swachya Bharat cess used to be there. All this cess because the main tax is also gone. Main tax gone. Any surcharge and cess also gone. So what are the various central taxes which are gone? Central excise duty then Service tax, countervailing duty, CBD, countervailing duty, then central sales tax and surcharges and cess. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. What are the state taxes which are get, gone? Because GST came, what are the state state car taxes which are gone? Number one. Any state car surcharge or cess if it was there, like how central surcharge and cess is gone? State level pay. If the state government was charging any surcharge or cess, that is also gone. Then entertainment tax. People, when you used to go to watch a movie, there used to be charged what everyone? Entertainment tax. Now what is charged? GST. So entertainment tax is gone. Taxes on lottery, betting, gambling. Baba, lottery, you know lottery? Yes or no, everyone? Lottery, betting. Horse race may you do betting. Correct. Casino may you do gambling. Put money, card game, all this gambling, etc. Which is there. Uh, earlier any lottery any betting any gambling the state government used to go ahead and charge the tax now all these are gone what will be charged yes. entry tax whenever a truck used to enter at the state ka border level what used to be charged everyone entry yes. tax gone when you are buying from another state they used to charge purchase tax gone VAT. what is VAT? I am selling within the state. If I am selling to you, I used to charge what everyone? Right. Now what will I charge? Yes. GST. Sales tax, luxury tax which was charged by hotel etc. All these are gone. Can you tell me what are the things which are gone at state level? Yes. State surcharge and says then entertainment tax, lottery, betting, gambling, VAT, lot entry tax, purchase tax, sales tax and Luxury tax which was charged by hotel etc. All these are also got. Now, this is very important from exam point of view. They ask a one or two mark question. What are the taxes which have not gone because of coming of GST? GST came but still these taxes have remained. What? Basic custom duty. People, whenever you import, whenever you import or you export, you will go ahead and charge what everyone? Custom duty. Baba, import and export is basically international level pay it is still happening government told basic custom duty will not touch because of coming of gst import and export pay whatever custom duty was there will still continue so basic custom duty what they are telling everyone it will continue now 
एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स अदर देन एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स विच इज लेविड बाई होम तो लोकल बॉडीज वॉट एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स दे वर चार्जिंग हैज नॉट बीन सब्स्यूम वॉट इज लोकल टैक्स लोकल एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स यू नो फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल वन लोकल थिएटर इज देयर फॉर दैट थिएटर इन महाराष्ट्र एक्सेट्रा इज इज स्टिल देयर इन दैट थिएटर वॉट विल हैपन लोकल म्यूनिसपालिटी विच इज देयर हंड्रेड रुपीज का टिकट पे म्यूनिसपालिटी विल चार्ज टू रुपीज म्यूनिसपल टैक्सेस आर वी क्लियर तो लोकल एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स इज ऑल्सो चार्ज बाई होम म्यूनिसपालिटी और पंचायत दैट इज स्टिल कंटिन्यूंग दैट इज नॉट गॉन इन आवर मूवी थिएटर द एक्चुअल एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स विच वॉज देयर वॉज गॉन विच इज नाउ वॉट एवरी वन जी एस टी बट इफ एनी एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स इज चार्ज बाई होम म्यूनिसपालिटी और पंचायत दैट विल स्टिल कंटिन्यू दे वर चार्जिंग टू रुपीज एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स ऑन मूवी टिकट इज इट स्टिल देयर एवरी वन Yes, any local body. Local body means panchayat, municipality. For an example, one panchayat me, one theater show has come, and that theater show, the panchayat has told every ticket you are selling, we want two rupees. Will that still be there? Yes, that is not subsumed into GST. So entertainment tax is subsumed, ex except what everyone? Entertainment tax levied by local body. On your property, do you pay property tax? Yes or no, everyone? property tax is still continuing stamp paper you pay stamp duty or not everyone yes. that is still continuing electricity pay one electricity duty is there that is still continuing you know alcohol 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 whenever it is made the state government charges sed what is sed everyone state excise duty so in the state if any alcohol will be manufactured people in the state whenever alcohol is manufactured the state government will charge everyone what state excise duty so if i am a manufacturer i made alcohol i am a manufacturer of alcohol i manufactured and sold it to one shopkeeper for an example okay everyone listen when i will manufacture and sell i will have to pay what everyone state excise duty for an example 10% 20% i have to pay on the alcohol which i am manufacturing are we all clear to yes everyone next so whenever alcoholic liquor for human consumption is made what is to be paid everyone is it still continuing because i had already told you state government told we will not give up our alcohol so on alcohol gst will not come but what will come state excise duty now there is something called hp man i'll tell you the meaning of hp man first hp man h for high speed diesel are baba diesel p for petroleum crude crude petroleum motor spirit motor spirit means petrol aviation turbine fuel this is known as atf and n for natural gas write down first done everyone
everyone over here listen these are the five petroleum products these are the five petroleum products basically on which as of now government is not charging any gst as of now what is there everyone baba petrol one rupee up and down also it's a news yes or no everyone so government told we will not touch petroleum as of now because if supposingly government touches petroleum then everyone will be like no we don't want this government only remove baba petrol is very sentimental yes or no everyone one rupee up and down people oh petroleum prices have come down everyone now listen so government went ahead and told on petroleum central government told as of now gst will not come are we clear everyone and whenever these petroleum products are manufactured central government will charge what central excise duty on what everyone hp man can you tell me hp man means what are <laughs> diesel you know diesel that good name is what high speed diesel you know crude petroleum that is petroleum crude m for motor spirit motor spirit means what petrol aviation turbine fuel baba in aeroplanes we put fuel that is known as aviation turbine fuel and n is natural gas these five items pay this five item pay as of now there is no gst so whenever it is being manufactured what will be charged everyone central excise duty are we all clear with this point so what will be charged central excise duty so as of now can you tell me two items which are out of gst which i have told you number 1 alcoholic liquor for human and number 2 hp man can you tell me what is hp man everyone high speed diesel petroleum crude motor spirit aviation turbine fuel and natural gas this five item as of now no gst but it will come in future that we'll talk later can i go ahead everyone people let's go ahead now theek hai i'll give you i'll give you 30 seconds to talk to each other and then i'll cut One minute break. Okay, you can drink water, talk to each other, and then we'll continue. One minute break. Chalo, let's continue. People over here, listen. You understood basic custom duty, entertainment tax, property me property tax is there. Stamp duty is all that stamp paper pay whatever stamp duty you pay. Electricity, baba electricity pay one electricity duty is also there. That is still continuing. Okay, everyone. Electricity pay. What is there? Electricity duty that is still continuing. The next one over here is alcoholic liquor and HP man. Now, dual model of GST. People listen to me very carefully. What do you mean by dual model of GST? People over here. What is dual model of GST? GST. Now, you know when central government gave up some taxes and state government also gave up some taxes central government told okay our some taxes swaha state government told our taxes swaha people listen to me very carefully why did they go ahead and give up all their taxes central government also gave up taxes state government also gave up their taxes why did they do that because they went ahead and told now we'll do one thing whenever any transaction will happen in india whether it is a goods ka sale whether it is a service ka sale both the government will eat gst together it means you will see in the bill cgst and sgst why so whenever any transaction happens in india whenever any transaction happens is opening the window now neighbor will come whenever any transaction will happen in india what will happen both the government will go ahead and charge the GST. GST. Central government will charge CGST, and central government will keep. State government will charge SGST, and central state government will keep. Earlier, services pay only central government used to charge service tax. Now, who will charge? Central government will charge CGST, and state government will charge SGST. Are we clear, everyone? Tell me one thing. I went ahead and sold the goods to you, hundred rupees. What are the uh, GST I will charge? CG. And S G nine percent and how much nine percent nine rupees and I will pay to the government how much central government nine rupees and state government is my point clear to all this is known as dual model under GST that India has adopted dual model which is imposed concurrently by the center and the state so whenever one person is going ahead and selling goods he will charge what C G S T and he will charge 
when he is buying that other person will charge him what cgst and agst so he'll have input of cgst and he will set it off and he will pay the balance is my point clear to all we are upgrading little is my point clear so now this is so gst which will be levied by the central government will be known as that which will be levied by the state will be known as if i am a union territory i will charge cgst which will go to central government and i'll charge utgst which will go to your union territory ka government are we all clear till here next now center has the power to tax intra state means earlier whenever goods were sold within the state no vat used to be charged but now can central government also take the tax on sale of goods louder yes. central government will charge cgst and state government will charge sgst yes. can state government now empowered to charge tax on earlier who used to charge tax on services central but now any service happening in india central government cgst state government yes. and this model has been adopted by india from whom canada so we have adopted australian model then pakistan model then canadian model our model has been adopted from canada are we all clear till here can we go ahead people listen to me very carefully now <coughs> can you tell me what are the different types of trade and commerce trade one can be intra state trade intra state means what everyone within the state one can be interstate trade what is interstate everyone between two states one state to another state what is one more trade can be international also one country to another we are getting goods from outside india services from outside india or from india to outside india do you guys agree with me in gst we called interstate as inter intrastate as intrastate only we call intrastate as what everyone yes. intrastate supply only are we clear everyone interstate and international no in gst both are called as interstate supply only what is it called everyone yes. can you tell me what do you mean by intrastate supply yes. within the state within the state means if i am selling supposingly from karnataka to karnataka it means within the same within same state if i go ahead and talk about uh, karnataka and i am selling goods in so it is known as what everyone intra state supply if i go ahead and say within same union territory can you tell me union territory andaman and nicobar to andaman and nicobar do you guys agree with me so people it will be same state or same union territory we will call it as what everyone intra state can you tell me whenever i am selling within the same state what is the gst i will charge cgst and if i am in a ut and selling within the same ut i will charge what cgst and ut gst cgst goes to central government sgst goes to state government cgst goes to and ut gst goes to what union territory ka government are we all clear till here actually union territory means it's a territory of the union territory of the central government so union territory ka gst also goes to central government only but central government uses it for the benefit of that union territory are we clear everyone are we all clear with this sure 100% okay what is interstate supply transaction is between two different states two different states can you tell me the example karnataka se i sold to tamil nadu can i say if i am selling goods from karnataka to tamil nadu intra or inter inter, inter. two different uts i am selling goods from andaman to chandigarh is it a union territory everyone yes now tell me chandigarh and andaman two different union territory intra or inter yeah. cgst as gst yeah. one minute i'll talk about that <coughs> okay if i am selling from one state to one ut one state one ut karnataka is one state ut is andaman 
इंट्रा और इंटर इंटर नो विजिट विद इन द स्टेट विद इन द यूटी और डिफरेंट स्टेट वन स्टेट टू डिफरेंट स्टेट टू डिफरेंट यूटी वन स्टेट वन विल ऑलवेज कॉल इट वॉट एवरी वन ओके इफ इट इज टू डिफरेंट कंट्री इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल इज ऑल्सो इंटर स्टेट सप्लाई ओनली इन जीएसटी तो कैन यू टेल मी वॉट विल यू चार्ज इन दिस दर समथिंग कॉल्ड आई जी एस टी विच इज चार्ज नाउ यूल टेल मी सर वाई इज आई जी एस टी चार्ज ओवर हियर आई टॉक अबाउट इट आई विल टॉक अबाउट वाई आई जी एस टी विल बी चार्ज बट एज ऑफ नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन एवर इट इज इंटर स्टेट वॉट विल बी चार्ज आई जी एस टी वेन एवर इट इज इंटर स्टेट वॉट विल बी चार्ज सी जी एस टी एंड एस जी एस टी और सी जी एस टी एंड यू टी जी एस टी टेल मी वन थिंग ट्रांजेक्शन इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन सेम स्टेट विद इन सेम स्टेट विद इन सेम यूनाइटेड इंट्रा और इंटर इंट्रा एंड इंट्रा स्टेट में वट डू चार्ज वट इज द जी एस टी द शॉपकीपर विल चार्ज सी जी एस टी एंड एस जी एस टी और सी जी एस टी एंड यू टी जी एस टी वेन एवर ट्रांजेक्शन इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम वन स्टेट टू अनदर वन स्टेट टू अनदर स्टेट इंटर स्टेट वन यू टी टू अनदर यू टी इंटर स्टेट वन स्टेट टू अनदर यू टी इंटर स्टेट वन यू टी टू अनदर स्टेट इंटर स्टेट डू यू गैज एग्री विद मी and one country to another country yes. interstate are we clear everyone and what will be always charged yes. igst do you guys agree with me chalo i'll ask you some examples you tell me the answer and then we'll go ahead okay now people goods are sold from karnataka to karnataka can you tell me inter or intra in tra what will you charge and as gst can i go ahead everyone 100% yes sir you will get stuck okay you be careful karnataka se assam intra or inter what will you charge igst okay Goods are sold from Andaman to Andaman. One UT to another UT. Inter or intra? Inter, tra, tra, intra. What will you charge? CGST and SGST. UT GST. CGST goes to central government. UT GST goes to union territory government. Okay. One UT. Lakshadweep is what? another ut what will you charge inter what will you charge igst do you guys agree with me one ut to one state inter what will you charge okay one ut to another ut what will you charge inter what will you charge intra what will you charge cgst cgst and gst ut gst will be exactly wrong over here now i'll tell you why delhi listen to me very carefully you are telling delhi is a ut correct everyone delhi you are telling what everyone now listen to me very carefully i want you guys to learn about india first tell me how many states we have in india actually we had 29 states and how many uts seven uts people listen carefully everyone listen carefully how many states we had and how many uts out of this one state which was jammu and what deleted as a state and how many states remain and can you tell me jammu and kashmir became how many ut two union territories do you guys agree with me yes or no everyone what are the two union territories listen it actually became one was the union territory of jammu and kashmir one was the union territory of ladakh people listen carefully people listen carefully why do we call union territory as union territory because it's a territory of the union government means union government means the central government starts controlling that union territory people 
लिसन केयरफुली यूनियन टेरिटरी मीन्स यूनियन टेरिटरी मीन्स सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का टेरिटरी हु विल कंट्रोल द टेरिटरी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट नाउ लिसन टू बी वेरी केयरफुली यूनियन टेरिटरी आउट ऑफ दिस नाइन यूनियन टेरिटरीज नो देर आर थ्री यूनियन टेरिटरीज विच आर डेली Puducherry are sweet pondy everyone and Jammu and Kashmir listen these three union territories are with legislature with legislature means they have their own vidhan sabha are we clear everyone they have their own vidhan sabha which is there they have their own chief minister who is there are we clear it is like a union territory but it has its own legislature means Although it is still under the center ka control only, but still, the it is considered like a state only. For an example, Delhi, Puducherry, and Jammu, and they have their own legislature. And remaining UTs are UTs without means these are basically controlled by whom? Central, central government. Here also, central government has some control, but they have their own vidhan. Sabha, which is there, are we clear? They have their own CM. Are in Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal is there. Yes or no, everyone? Now, and how many are there? Other UTs without legislature are the remaining UTs. Now listen. In GST, in GST, twenty-eight states are there, and these three UTs which are there, no, with legislature, are also considered as a state. And how many states we have? Thirty-one states in GST. Are we clear, everyone? Whenever states may transaction will happen, what will you charge? Yes. And and whenever UTs, can you tell me the UT everyone now? Okay. Andaman and Nicobar. Lakshadweep. Daman and Dew. Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Okay, then. Ladakh, Lakshadweep already done, and Chandigarh. Do you guys agree with me, people? How many union territories? One, two, three, four, five, six. These union territories, me whenever transaction will happen, what will you charge? CGST and UTGST. Do you guys agree with me? And one more thing, you have to listen. You know what happened? This Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Dew, which was there. In India, it was like this. Here, Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Dew were very near, and both were union territory. Do you guys agree with me? So, who was imposing control on the union territory? Everyone, <laughs> central government was imposing control on both the union territory. Do you guys agree with me? Yes. Then government told, if two union territories are different, different. No, if we want to go ahead and do anything in this union territory, we have to issue one notification. One order has to be issued. Now. Both the union territories were near only, but both were separate, separate union territory. Government told we have to go ahead and issue how many order? One order or two order? Two orders for two separate territory. So we merged them. Government merged them, and now they became how many union territory? And the name of the union territory government kept as Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Dew. So now can you tell me how many union territories are there? Remaining how many? Five. So can I tell remaining are only five UTs? Why? So this nine will be only how many here? Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead now? Listen to me very carefully. Can you tell me what are the how many states we have? Thirty-one. How many states? How many UTs with legislature are there? Three. Three. Which are the three? Delhi, Puducherry, and Jammu and. these are considered as state and what will be charged always within that state whenever transaction is happening cgst and sgst different state igst okay tell me one thing what are the five uts which are there andaman lakshadweep dadra and nagar haveli and daman and dew ladakh and chandigarh what will be always charged cgst and utgst can we go ahead everyone now people the same thing which i have told trade and commerce intra or inter within the same state cgst and sgst cgst and utgst different state different ut one state one ut and different country india how many state 28 ut is how many 
So, Baba, remember eight UTs. Okay, everyone. Next, Delhi, Puducherry, Baba, Pondi. I have written over here. How many states? Thirty-one. How many UTs? Five UTs. Always will charge whenever transaction is happening in UT. Will charge what everyone? CGST and UTGST. Are we all hundred percent clear with this? Chalo. Now tell me one thing. If I ask you over here, Delhi is one union territory. Delhi is one union territory or state? state. Delhi is one union territory or state? state? State to state transaction is happening intra-state. What will you charge? CGST and CGST. do you guys agree with me? Next, Delhi to Lakshadweep, one state, one UT. What will you charge? Tra or tar? In tar, what will you charge? Are we all clear with this? The next one, Puducherry, state or UT? Puducherry, state or UT? State. Delhi is a. What will you charge? Tra or tar? In tra or in tar? Enter. What will you charge? IGST. Are we all clear? Clear? Okay. Ladakh is a state or UT? Jammu and Kashmir is a state or UT? What will you always charge? Intra or tar? What will you charge? IGST. Okay. Dadra and Nagar Aveli and Daman and Diu. This is what? This is what state? UT. This is what? From here, here transaction is happening. Inter or tra? Tar or tra? Why tra? Because they are same. So it will be always in tra and C G S T N. Are we clear? So I'll do one more exercise with you guys so that I can understand that you have understood and then we'll close this. Okay, everyone. Oh, okay. Chalo, tell me everyone, Assam to Assam, now you will tell me, same state, inter or intra, what will you charge, and SGST, okay, then Tamil Nadu to Karnataka, Tamil Nadu is a state, state, what will you charge, two different states, inter, IGST, next, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Inter, what will you charge? IGST. Okay. Chandigarh to Chandigarh. Intra, what will you charge? CGST and YUT. <coughs> Union Territory. Chandigarh, UT. Lakshadweep. Inter or Intra? Inter. Inter and you will charge what? Next. Andaman. What is it? Yeah. UT, Assam, yeah. Inter or Tra? Yeah. What will you charge? Yeah. Are we all clear till here? Next. Puducherry yeah. to Puducherry. State, yeah. Inter or Intra? Yeah. What will you charge? Yeah. And SGST. Are we clear everyone? Next. Delhi, what is it? Yeah. Puducherry. Yeah. Inter or intra? Inter. inter. What will you charge? IGST. IGST. Jammu and Kashmir. State. Jammu and Kashmir. State. Inter or intra? Inter. Intra. What will you charge? CGST and SGST. Are we all 100% clear? Jammu and Kashmir. State. Ladakh. State. What will you charge? Inter or intra? <laughs> Sure, everyone. Are we all 100% clear with this? Anything we wrote wrong? Correct now everything is? Are we all clear? Chalo. Now listen to me very carefully. People, sir, you taught us dual model. Correct? I taught you dual model. Where whenever when transaction is happened, central government will charge CGST and state government will charge SGST. Can you tell me which state government it is? Where the food, goods are finally consumed. CGST and? Do you guys agree with me? But, sir, whenever transaction is happening from one state to another, you told what will be charged? IGST. Are we clear, everyone? Now, you will tell me, sir, why IGST came in suddenly? It could have been CGST 
and SGST also. Yes or no, everyone? Do you guys agree with me? That sir, from one state to another, you told both the government will get to eat. Now, IGST, who will eat? Whenever any transaction will happen, central government will eat, CGST half, state government will eat, SGST. Do you guys agree with me? Now, sir, this IGST chocolate, who will eat? Do you guys agree with me? Sir, why did IGST come in? I'll tell you the little reason so that you guys can remember this. Everyone listen. Earlier, no? See, people, tell me one thing. If I am in the state of Karnataka and I am selling goods in the state of Karnataka only, I sold goods from Karnataka to, to one person in Karnataka, one lakh rupees ka goods. Can you tell me what is the GST I'll charge? CGST how much? 9% for an example and HGST how much? Do you guys agree with me? This CGST will go where? This SGST will go what? With state government? Do you guys agree with me? But in the same place, I told you, whenever I am going ahead, I am in the state of Karnataka and I sold goods in the state of West Bengal, I should charge, for an example, 1 lakh rupees ka goods which is there, I should charge what? IGST 18%. Do you guys agree with me? You know what? CGST and SGST. CGST and this is supposedly SGST. Integrate together. CGST and it is known as integrated GST. CGST and SGST integrated together. Are we clear? Joined together. Now, if I would have gone ahead, listen everyone. If I would have gone ahead and charged over here CGST and SGST. I am registered in Karnataka, right? If I would have charged over here SGST, what will happen? Listen. Why IGST came, I am explaining you. People on the board. If I would have charged Karnataka SGST because I am registered in, I will charge you 9,000 rupees and 9,000 rupees. Correct, everyone? You will give me how much? 1 lakh plus 9,000 CGST plus 9,000. I will give central government how much? And state government how much? 9,000. Which state government? You want credit. Do you want input tax credit? Yes or no, everyone? You want input tax credit. Central government is one for all. Baba, central government is one for everyone. Central government will give you 9,000 ka. But tell me one thing. Which state government got this 9,000 rupees? You are in where? You will ask West Bengal government, sir, give me 9,000 rupees ka credit. So West Bengal will tell what? You paid to the Karnataka government. Ask Karnataka government, no. And hence, if you are in West Bengal, you will not get 9,000 rupees ka. Whenever you don't get credit, it will become part of your cascading effect. Do you guys agree with me? And hence, government saw that this is a problem. That See, tell me one thing. When I am selling from one state to the same state, listen, 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 everyone. If I am selling from Karnataka to Karnataka, I will charge CGST and I will give to central government 9,000 and I will give to which government? Karnataka government SG. How much? Are you in the state of Karnataka? Can you take the input tax credit? 9,000. And we, are you in Karnataka? So, Karnataka government will give you 9,000 ka credit also noted, sir. Are we clear? Okay, I'll, I'll, little more I'll tell. Supposingly, you don't want to take the credit. If you don't want to take the credit, might be you're a consumer. I sold the goods to whom? Tell me one thing. I gave 9,000 to central government. 9,000 to? Central government got 50%. Which state government got 50%? Where you, the goods are? consume. Is it finally clear? Tell me one thing. If I am going ahead. People, did you guys get this point? Chalo. Now tell me one thing. If I am going ahead and selling in other state and if I go ahead and charge like this CGST and Karnataka SGST. Can you tell me I will pay to the central government how much? And I will pay to whom? Karnataka. State government how much? Now think that this person sitting in West Bengal is a consumer. If this person in the West Bengal is a consumer, can you tell me which government should get the tax? Central government 50 and West Bengal government how much? Who got here? Is it destination based taxation? First problem. Did you guys see this problem? 
Sure, everyone. Now I'll show you the second problem. Okay. If this final person was not a consumer, he wants a input tax credit. He is going to sell it further. So he's telling, I want input tax. Is it clear till here? Tell me one thing. Central government is one for all. So central government will give CGST credit of how much? But state government is Karnataka state government. You are registered in? Will you get Karnataka state government say credit? Never. When you don't get credit, it will become part of your? So when you are selling, it will be cascading. Do you guys agree with me? Sure everyone. And that is why government told what? Whenever interstate transaction will happen. For an example, you are in the state of? Karnataka, you went ahead and sold to a person who is in the state of West Bengal, you should always, supposingly 1 lakh rupees ka sale it is, you should always charge CGST and SGST together. Integrate and charge. And what is the name everyone? Integrated, integrated GST. So if it is 9 and 9, integrated GST will be how much? So I will charge how much? He will give me how much? For an example, I don't have any input tax credit. So I will give to the government how much? You know who eats the chocolate? Central government. People listen to me very carefully. IGST goes to whom always? IGST will go to whom? You know what central government will do? Central government will keep its 50 percent, 9000 rupees. And where is the consumption happening? If this person is a consumer, so West Bengal government go. Government will give how much? 9,000. Who will give? Central government. Is free flow of credit happening? Did the destination state government get the tax? Yes or no everyone? Did you guys get it? Okay. Tell me one thing. I will ask you once again. Whenever I am selling from one state to another state, what will I charge? IGST. IGST I will give to whom? Central government. Now, if that person is a consumer, central government will do what? Destination is West Bengal. 50% central government will keep. Remaining 50% West Bengal state government. Okay. I will ask you in the same question. Okay, everyone. People getting it? No. Sure. Not over the head, right? Going in. Drink some water otherwise. Drink some water. I will also drink. Hmm. Everyone listen. Now tell me one thing. Supposingly in the same example I tell you. People over here, over here, over here. I went ahead and sold the goods from Karnataka to West Bengal. I went ahead and charged 1 lakh rupees. And I will charge what? IGST for an example 18,000. Think everyone. He will give to Karnataka me how much? 18,000. I will give this to whom? IGST goes to whom? Central government. Now, if this person is a business person, registered person, he would want what? Because he is going to sell the goods further. So, he is going to use it. So, I will, who will give the credit? Any problem will happen? Central government, Papa is same for the him and him. Correct? So, central government will give the input tax credit of 18,000. Any tension everyone? Free flow of credit is happening. My question again, what if he is not a registered person then? What will central government do? 50% with itself and 50% to the West Bengal. Are we all 100% clear with this? Why did IGST come? Because whenever goods are sold within the different state, if we charge CGST and SGST, we will give SGST to our government that other state ka person will not be able to get the credit. If it does not get the credit, what will happen? Free flow of credit will stop. People, are you sure you 100% got it? Shall I repeat or got it? Tell me one thing. If I am in the state of Delhi, I'll ask you. I am not convinced, so I'll ask. Delhi. And I sold goods within the state of Delhi. 1 lakh rupees ka goods, what will I charge? Which SGST I will charge? 9,000 and 9,000. He gave me 9 and 9. What will I do with this? If he is a consumer, what will happen? Central government got? Central government will eat 9,000. Drink water, eat it. Forget it. And remaining Delhi state government? How much Delhi government got? 
Delhi government will eat and drink water. Forget it. Are we clear? What if in the same situation, I ask you in the same situation everyone, if this person over here is not a consumer, he is a shopkeeper, what will he do? He will sell further. So, he will want what? Can central government give him credit? He will give CGST credit 9000. Will a state government, Delhi government, you are also in Delhi? If you are in Delhi, can Delhi government give you the credit? So, SGST credit, how much will you get? Can you use it for your output? Yes. Are we 100% clear? Any cascading effect? No. Chalo, I will ask you. I am in the state of Delhi. And I sold goods to the state of UP. One person is in the UP. State, what will I charge? IGST. 1 lakh rupees ka goods. IGST, how much everyone? He will give how much? He will give to the government how much? One minute. Which government? Central government collected 18,000. My question now to all of you. Take everyone. If you tell me this, I will understand that you understood. He is a consumer. Destination is at what? Consumption happened over. Is there any further consumption going to happen or over? Can you tell me now what will government do? 9,000. Central government will eat and drink water. Ah, government will tell, forget it. Because now no one will take the credit. My, my, my food. Take everyone. State government will tell what? Which government? UP government. Will UP government also drink water? Uh -huh. Why? Because no one is going to ask any credit. It is my only. Did you guys understand this point? But in the same example, if I ask you, the UP person who is there is a registered person. He is going to sell this good further. Can government drink water? Can I drink water? Yes or no? No, 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 sir. Why? Because nine, he will go, government will give him the, how much ITC? What will he do with 18? Whatever he collects from the customer, he will. This is my point, 100% clear to all of you. Sure, everyone. Shall I repeat or got it? Got it. Because you want a break or you actually got it? Sure, everyone. Tell me one thing. Intra means what? Within the same state, within the same? UT. What will you always charge? CGSTN. SGSTN, CGSTN. UT, GST. Different state, different UT. One state, one UT. Different country. What will you charge? IGST. Are we clear? Tell me one thing. IGST goes always to central government. Here is a consumer. Central government will keep 50. 50 remaining to whom? State government. Are we clear? If here, will it be given to this guy or state government? Yeah. State government. Are we clear? If this guy is a registered person, then central government will give what? Input tax rate to that person. Are we 101 percent clear? Sure, everyone. Chalo. People, listen. We are done till here now. Let's take a quick break. Once we come back from the break, we'll resume our discussion and do what, everyone? We'll continue with the remaining portion. Let's take a quick break, everyone. Chalo, we'll take a quick break everyone. Let's take a break.